Well, I've made some good headway on the microwave motion sensor project. I've got here now in front of me programmed up ready to go. This is the base unit, so this unit will go inside the house. And the Zigbee is always on listening. And when the other unit, the sensor unit, detects either movement via its radar or the vibration sensor goes off because some mongrel is trying to pinch it, then the base system will sound an alert. And the base system can be expanded to many sensors. It doesn't have to just be one sensor. It can take, you know, hundreds, however many you need. And they can all come back to this one base unit. There's just little packets of data that get sent to indicate uh, what type of alert has gone off. And that's all generated from the sensor device itself. Anyway, I can give you a little demo now. So the two little radios are talking to each other. But anyway, let me put my hand in front of the radar and I'll set off the radar. There it goes. And if I wave it around a bit, you can see the sort of carry on it'll do. So it makes a, quite a nice annoying little noise. And the vibration sensor, so it's got that set fairly easy on at the moment, but the, the little vibration sensor this a little gold thing just in the front of this. It normally sits vertical, but just for this demonstration, it's sitting on its side. In the box, it'll be mounted vertically. It'll be slightly a bit more sensitive than what it is now. But that's all configurable in software anyway, so we can make it as least or as most sensitive as we want. Anyway, all we've got left to do now is um, put it back in the box outside. Let it run for a bit of time and make sure to iron out all the bugs out of it. And then it's pretty well ready to go. Get it into an even smaller enclosure and get a, uh, a proper board instead of these prototyping boards. Keep you updated. See you later.